Merhaba arkadaşlar. E, Atek Yurt Dışı Eğitim ve Alışmanlık tarafından hazırlanan e, İtalya'da tasarım ve moda eğitimi konulu e, webinarımıza hoş geldiniz. Bugünkü konuğumuz Naba Üniversitesi ve Instituto Marangoni'den e, yetkililerimiz. İlk önceki ilk önce sunumumuzu e, Naba Üniversitesi'nden Milan arkadaşımız yapacak. Ee, sorularınız olursa lütfen e, chat box'tan ya da yorum kısmından sormayı unutmayın. Milan, it's your turn now. Thank you very much, Alper. And uh, thank you everyone for participating in this uh, presentation. Uh, so my name is Milan and I'm a regional admission manager at NABA. NABA is an international art and design academy and we have two campuses in Italy, one in Milan and one in Rome. Before starting my presentation, I'm going to show you a uh, video that will give you an introduction about our university. If you are interested in studying art and design, the right place to be is, is Italy. And as NABA, we have a campus in the two main cities, uh, which are Milan and Rome. Starting to give you some insights about Milan, which I think all of you know that is the world capital for arts, design and fashion. And let's go more into details. So first of all, Milan is a city of fashion because we have some of the most important uh, uh, brands and designers there. And as well, we have four fashion weeks during the year, two menswear and two womenswear. And uh, our students get the possibility to participate in these events. For example, for uh, the most important Italian brands, our students have the possibility to be in the backstage and help and understand how a real catwalk fashion show is organized. Milan is also a city of design. We are hosting every year in April one of the most important uh, design fairs around the world. It's called Salone del Mobile. It's during the design week, where around 500,000 people are coming to the city for this event. And also here, our design students have the possibility to exhibit their projects uh, uh, during these events. So it's a great possibility for networking. Also, Milan is a city of arts. We have some very important exhibitions, galleries, and museums. Our second campus is located in Rome. Rome is a very important place for architecture, archaeology, and contemporary art. And also, it's the Italian capital of culture, where all the Italian films are produced in Rome. And as well, Rome is a very important city for fashion where we have important brands and important events as Alta Roma. Let's go more into details in, uh, um, in NABA, in the academy. 
So who, what is NABA? Just a second. Here we are. So NABA was founded in 1980, and it is the first and the largest private academy that was recognized by the Italian Minister of Education. We offer programs fully in English or in Italian. Uh, being recognized by the Italian Minister of Education gives you different possibilities. So all our programs are internationally recognized degrees. And by studying NABA, you will have the possibility to do internships while studying. You can work legally up to 20 hours per week. And as well, after graduation, you have the opportunity to extend your permit of stay and change it from study reasons to job seeking reasons. And NABA will support you for finding a job after your graduation. So it means that even if you don't have a job once you graduate, you are legally allowed to stay in Italy for one year longer for job seeking purposes. NABA is also ranked among the best universities around the world. For example, this year we were awarded by uh, QS ranking as the top 100 universities around the world in the subject of uh, art and design. And as well, we are the most international art and design academy in Italy with more than 4,000 students per year coming from more than 80 different countries. As well, our teaching methodology is very important. We call it learning by doing. And it means that students are not going to have only theoretical classes, but we do also a lot of practical work. We do internships and we do projects and workshops in collaboration with some of the most important companies and design studios. The first campus, as I was saying, it's in Milan, and it's located in this very cool area uh, called Navigli, where there are a lot of events during the fashion weeks, the design weeks, uh, there are a lot of international students, uh, and as well, there is very nice lifestyle, lifestyle. Here, we have a very unique campus. We have a closed campus with 13 different buildings, and all the facilities, all the laboratories are inside the campus. Uh, we have different design labs, as we can see here. We have all the fashion labs. Uh, we have the biggest textile library in all Italy and all the tech labs and uh, uh, the softwares. Our second campus in Rome is also a closed campus with two different buildings, uh, only three metro station from the Colosseum. And as well, here we have all the facilities and the spaces, laboratories for the students. This is our library. We have the fashion labs, visual art labs, green screen, everything on the campus. Outside of the laboratories in the campus, we have also different services for international students as the career service, which is very important, uh, will support you for finding internship, for finding job. And as well, we have uh, a student life service, which is supporting students for all the bureaucratic issues, uh, for the permit of stay, opening your bank account, uh, and as well, a housing office that is supporting students uh, for finding a place where to live. We don't have dorms in the campus as we are in the city centers, but we have places available from 20 meters from the campus up to 15, 20 minutes uh, with public transportation you're going to be supported by our housing office for everything. Let's go more into details in the academic offer, starting from the undergraduate programs. We have seven different undergraduate programs, and as well, we have a foundation year that can be useful for students that are not sure about what they would like to study. So they think they need more time for preparing to enter in the bachelor program. Then as bachelor, we have seven different bachelors in graphic design and art direction, design, fashion design, painting and visual arts, media design and multimedia arts, creative technologies, and set design. All NABA bachelors are three years long. They are Bachelor of Arts degrees, as I said, internationally recognized. And during your 
three years of studies, you have different possibilities. First of all, you are going to have the possibility to choose internship, to choose workshops and projects within co important companies. You can choose to have a, a study abroad experience in one of our international partners. But as well, as you, as you can see, in each bachelor, you have the possibility to, to choose one or more specializations. So in graphic design, you can choose between brand design, creative direction, visual design. In design, you can choose between interior or product design. In fashion, between fashion design, styling communication, fashion design management, then painting and visual arts. In media design, filmmaking, animation, and game design. Creative technologies, visual effects, 3D design, game development, and in set design, theater and opera, and media and events. Then in NABA, we have also different postgraduate programs. We have a two year Master of Arts. Um, in the two years of Master of Arts, there is a mix of theoretical classes, project based courses, workshop in collaboration with companies. In the second year, it's possible to do an internship and as well a study abroad opportunity. We have different courses. In the communication area, we have visual design and integrated marketing, user experience design. In the design area, interior design, product and service design, social design. Then we have fashion design and textile design, visual arts and curatorial studies, and new technology for arts. Additionally, we have uh, three different academic master programs that are still recognized, but they're shorter and more professional oriented. So they are just one year long. And inside the one year, the internship is mandatory and is part of the study plan. Here we have creative advertising, contemporary art markets, and photography and visual design. Additionally, we have special programs summer courses and semester abroad programs opportunities. Especially the summer courses are uh, very suitable for students that are still in high school and they want to have a short experience of NABA. They are two weeks long. Students can choose also to combine different sessions to stay in Italy from two weeks up to one month and a half. And we have also summer courses available online. Now I'm going to show you some examples of projects, which are a very important part of the teaching methodology of NABA. And I will start with a collaboration that we have with Porsche. This year is the fourth year that we are collaborating with this company. It all started as a competition between the best graphic design schools in Milan, where two of our students were awarded with the first prize and actually the graphic created by them was produced. This year, the brief was launched for the students of media design, and the brief was to create a, an advertising for the television for the new model of electric Porsche, the Porsche Taycan. Four projects were selected as winners, and the students were invited to the headquarters of Porsche to try this model and also to visit their offices. And I selected one of the projects uh, that we are going to sh uh, see now in the video. Ci piace spingerci oltre. Superando ogni limite. Condividiamo vittorie, proviamo emozioni, subiamo fallimenti, curiosi e coraggiosi verso nuove sfide, verso il futuro, prima del futuro, come la prima volta. So this was all created by the students of NABA from the Bachelor of Media Design. Then for the fashion field, every year we organize a real fashion show. It's a big event where through a competition, the best students will have the opportunity to participate in a real fashion show with the companies, televisions, magazines, 
and uh, it's a great opportunity also for networking. I will mention another project with the biggest uh, Italian beverage company, San Benedetto, where our students created their packaging of their iced tea, the one in the picture here. You can find it everywhere in all the supermarkets, bars around Italy with Naba logo, uh, as was created by our students. Additionally, we organize uh, different uh, interdisciplinary competitions, projects where students from different areas are able to collaborate together. And one example is the design marathon where students are working for 48 hours straight. And I'm going to show you the video of the one held online in 2020. And here you can find a short list of the companies that we are collaborating with. In general, we are collaborating with more than 1,000 uh, companies and design studios for every field. And you can see that we are activating more than 600 internships per year. And NABA job placement rate is 92% within one year, so it's very high. And we are supporting students for finding jobs starting from uh, giving them personal branding courses during their studies. But as well, there are days where companies are coming directly to the campus of NABA for having interviews for specific position. And as well, students have access to a specific website where only uh, the, where companies are putting their openings and only NABA students have the possibility to apply. Let's go more into details in the tuition fees and application process. So starting from the tuition fees, the foundation year is 12,000 euros per year. All the undergraduate programs are 18,200 euros per year. Postgraduate programs, the two years master are 18,200 euros per year, while the one year master are 19,000 euros. What do you need to apply for NABA? For undergraduate, you need the application form. You need to submit a portfolio or a project assignment, a motivational letter, an English or Italian certificate, depending on which language you would like to study, and your high school diploma and transcripts. For postgraduate programs, application form, portfolio, which is mandatory for all the programs outside contemporary art markets, motivational letter, CV, language certificate, and university diploma and transcripts. Feel free to ask me any questions about our programs, about the campuses, anything that can be interesting for you and all the other students. You can write the question in the chat or you can unmute yourself. Um, Milan, can you tell us about the competitions to uh, to win for scholarships? Yes, sure. So every year we are encouraging talented students. We are launching different uh, international scholarship competition for undergraduate and postgraduate programs. For this year, they are already expired. Uh, but usually every year uh, we launch them at the beginning of February and they are or portfolio-based or project-based. And the students, uh, the best students have the opportunity 
to win up 40% scholarship. And also you talked about uh, uh, job placements after graduation. Yes, that's how correct. Is how is the possibility uh, because Turkish students are non-EU um, students, uh, is it possible really to get us uh, Yes, person? so uh, as I was saying, NABA being recognized by the Italian Ministry of Education, you, every student, every international student has the possibility to change after graduation, like submit for one year longer their permit of stay for job seeking opportunities. And NABA is going to support the students for this one year. If they find a job, and you can see that 92% of the, our students find a job within this one year, they can then um, make their permit of stay longer until they have a contract or if they're working as a freelancer. Um, so for job opportunities, they're going to be supported by our career service. Um, Study programs are taught in English and uh, it is not simultaneously. It's directly in English. No, students can choose exactly. If they want to study in English, it's going to be full in English. So not translated. The teachers, so we have uh, Italian faculty, but as well international faculty. And they're going, of course, to speak uh, in English. Just to give... Another information about, uh, so this year, we are at the moment still having a blended approach, which means that uh, the majority of the theoretical classes are held online, while the projects, the workshops, the laboratories are held, of course, in the campus. From September, we are expecting to have the great majority of the classes in campus. As in Italy, the vaccination program is um, going quite well. Uh, so we are expecting to be able in September to go back to a new normality. So because the courses are taught in English, uh, students do not need to know any word of Italian uh, before starting to your courses? No, that's not mandatory. Of course, while they are studying in, in NABA, if they would like to learn some Italian, uh, there are some possibility. We are going to give them the contacts of some Italian language schools that we are collaborating with. And the last question is the uh, ratio of uh, Italian students to international students at NABA. It's around 40% international students, 60% Italian students. Okay, Milan. Uh, if Damiano is ready for Marangoni, uh, we can switch to Damiano. Hello. Yes, uh, I'm ready. Hi, Alper. Hi, how are you, Damiano? I'm doing well, nice to see you after so much time. And uh, well, thanks for the organization. And thanks, Milan, for taking the lead as I was a little late. And uh, well, uh, Merhaba, everyone. Uh, all uh, those uh, uh, enthusiastic students who are joining today's presentation. Um, if you want, uh, I can start with the presentation and then I will leave it to the Q&A. All right, that's great. Okay. Fantastic. So uh, once again, uh, uh, hello everyone. And uh, uh, my name is Damiano Antonazzo and I'm the area manager at uh, Istituto Marangoni. I'm going to share with you a, a brief presentation. Uh, I think that you are going to, you're seeing my screen now. Uh, and uh, we are talking a little bit about uh, Istituto Marangoni. Uh, that will not take long, uh, and uh, if you have any question, please uh, ask uh, uh, at the end, as you did uh, right after uh, the NABAS presentation. So, Istituto Marangoni is uh, uh, one of the most important uh, fashion, art, and design schools uh, in the whole world, and uh, it has been founded in 1935 uh, in Milano. Uh, where basically Giulio Marangoni decided to open uh, his atelier uh, for uh, basically students uh, who then became famous uh, fashion designers uh, such as uh, uh, Domenico Dolce or Franco Moschino, uh, the most important, uh, but then in recent years, uh, Alessandra Facchinetti working with uh, 
uh, well, for Gucci and Moncler uh, and Todds uh, or Alessandro Caccamo, who is a senior designer at Valentino and uh, many more. So the story of Marangoni began in Milano. Uh, it's 86 years already. But then, as you can see from the screen now, uh, starting from 2003, uh, we had a really big uh, internationalization. So 2003, London, then Paris, Shanghai, Milano Design School, Firenze, Shenzhen, Mumbai, and Miami, uh, a little less than two, three years ago. Um, as we speak, uh, we are ready at Istituto Marangoni to enroll students uh, from uh, abroad uh, in those that we call the European campus. So Milano, London, Paris and Firenze. For the other campuses, we are still pending uh, some accreditations, uh, such as Miami. Uh, the accreditation in Miami should have uh, been received last year, but due to the pandemic, uh, we are experiencing some delay. But most probably at the end of 2021, uh, we will be ready to enroll students uh, in our uh, Miami campus uh, uh, very, very soon. Uh, many schools uh, in different countries and different cities. Uh, most of the cities are considered to be uh, the world uh, design and fashion capitals. Uh, what is uh, uh, the element or the elements uh, that uh, bind uh, all uh, these uh, schools. Uh, it is basically uh, what we call the marangoniness, which is uh, made of four elements. The first thing is Italianness. Uh, it's what we call Italianità. Um, Istituto Marangoni is an Italian fashion and design school, uh, not only in Italy, but uh, in many cities in the world. And uh, the Italianness is not just about the Italian sense of beauty or uh, the Italian sense of style. It's the Italian teaching mythology that combines perfectly theory and practice. And it comes to creative studies, uh, practice, it's uh, mandatory. The school building seduction, it's about where we are located. Milano, London, Paris, uh, fashion uh, and design capitals, uh, but are only. The schools are located in the very centers of the cities where all the showrooms and fashion design companies are located. And this is very important for one reason. Every creative project starts with an inspiration and students can get the inspiration right when they walk out or in the school because the industry is right there. Being in these cities, we can have professional teachers, people who have been working uh, in the field and now they are sharing uh, their experience with the students. Uh, one of the most important example is Miss Giulia Bedoni, uh, is a former Istituto Marangoni student, uh, uh, has been working for seven years at Miu Miu and Prada, and now she is uh, doing uh, projects uh, and she is also uh, one of the senior teachers at Istituto Marangoni uh, Milano Fashion. And of course, uh, being professionals, uh, uh, these teachers can uh, um, raise the interest of companies uh, with which our students uh, can do real projects uh, during the path of studies. Uh, in the next uh, slides, I'm going to show you uh, some pictures uh, of uh, our campuses, uh, not because I want to talk to you about business, uh, as this is not a lecture of architecture, but I want to uh, tell you a little bit more about the differences uh, between the cities. What you can see now is uh, the entrance of uh, the Milano Fashion School, which is uh, the historical building of Istituto Marangoni Milan, and is located right 50 meters from uh, uh, Via Monte Napoleone, which is the beginning of the Quadrilatero of uh, della Moda. Um, Milan is considered to be the uh, capital of uh, fashion pret-a-porter, but not only. Um, it's also the city of styling. Uh, Istituto Marangoni is uh, uh, probably the, the first uh, uh, school in the world that uh, uh, elaborated uh, programs, educational programs in fashion styling. Uh, and then it became like a, a boom and started as a, a very important profession in the field of, uh, um, in the fashion field. Uh, and it's also the city of communication. Uh, then uh, in Milano, uh, we also have the School of Design uh, because Milano is the world design capital. Until last year, uh, the most important event in the world linked to design uh, has been held every April uh, for the last 50 years uh, in Milano. It's called the Salone del Mobile or the Milano Design Week. 
uh, it's a, a moment uh, in, in in a year where uh, more than 500,000 uh, people come to the city because uh, design is displayed everywhere. What kind of design? Graphic design, product design, and interior design. And this is uh, what we offer in this uh, uh, location. Uh, then we have uh, Firenze. Firenze is uh, considered to be one of the most uh, beautiful cities in the world. It's uh, the cradle of Renaissance. Um, and this is why it's only where we were at the cross. But not many people know that Firenze is also one of the fashion world capital. Uh, many uh, very important companies uh, linked to the fashion industry has been founded there. Uh, like uh, Gucci, Ermanno Cervino, uh, Roberto Cavalli, or the latest, uh, Patrizia Pepe. Uh, and it's also the place in which most of the luxury accessories design is produced, uh, Firenze or Regione Toscana, which is surrounding Firenze. So if your uh, dream is to work in this uh, field of the industry, then Firenze is definitely a very wise choice. Uh, London is what you see uh, on the screen now, uh, which is this post-industrial, very nice uh, building located in Fashion Street. London is uh, very well known for the subculture, the new trends in the street fashion, but also London is very well known for being probably one of the cities in which it's easier to build your own startup. So fashion business, fashion startup, fashion entrepreneurship, if you want to, uh, make it big uh, in this field, uh, then London is a wide choice. And since last year, London is offering a two years uh, post-study visa. It means that after your BA and after your master at Marangoni, you can easily extend your permit of stay for working purposes for two years. So if you want to have uh, experience abroad, not just after start, not just during studies, but also after to find an internship or a job, uh, then you can consider London. And Paris uh, is uh, the cradle of uh, haute couture, the culture of the atelier. If your dream is to work in companies such as Chanel, Hermès, Lanvin, and many more, then Paris is definitely the place to be. So in brief, Istituto Marangoni offers fashion everywhere, arts in Florence, and design in Milano and London. Um, Istituto Marangoni is a very international school uh, where probably more than 70% of students come from uh, uh, more than 105 countries around the world. Uh, but if you, want to, if you want to make your experience at Marangoni even more international, then you can do what we call the intercampus. So you can uh, uh, be a level, so three-year program. You can start the first year in Milano and do the second and third in London. Start in Paris and finish in Florence start in Florence and finish in London. So you can build up your BA uh, as you like. Uh, it's important that the last two years are in the same school. Uh, this is a chance that you have to see two cities, two countries have the same Marangoni experience, but with wider horizon in the uh, fashion design and arts industry. Um, this is possible because uh, most of uh, Instituto Marangoni programs have different uh, kind of accreditations. Uh, most of the three-year program at uh, Istituto Marangoni Milan have the AFAM accreditation, which is the Italian Ministry of Education, fashion design, uh, design uh, interior product and graphic design. Then uh, all programs at Istituto Marangoni London have accreditation from Manchester Metropolitan University, MMU. And then uh, Paris, uh, all programs have two kinds of accreditation, Manchester Metropolitan University and CNCP, which is a professional local uh, accreditation. So at the end of your studies, you will always get your Istituto Marangoni diploma, even in the non-accredited programs. And this is what it counts because of the reputation that Marangoni has in the field. But uh, if you want to have a bachelor or a master degree, then you have the chance to have it because of these three accreditation that I just mentioned. What you can find at Marangoni, different uh, kinds of programs. The foundation year, which is before the three-year program, which is most cases is not mandatory for Turkish students because uh, 
uh, the requirement for uh, the direct entry to the BA programs is to have 12 years of secondary education. And this is what most of Turkish students have. So if you have them, then you can jump easily into the post-diploma three-year programs or uh, Bachelor of Arts. Then if you already have a university degree, you can uh, choose one of our master courses. Uh, lasting between nine and 15 months, uh, depending on the campus. Um, and then if you have a university degree, not in the field, maybe you studied law, medicine, uh, pharmacology, or uh, uh, engineering, you don't want to work in this field and uh, you want to uh, make your career into design, then you can cho choose the most intensive programs that we offer at Marangoni. It's called the one year intensive programs. Starting from zero, no previous background required. In one year, you can either start practicing or jump directly to the master degree. And of course, as we always did, we have short courses. Uh, usually they are in summer between June and uh, September. Uh, this year, we will also have them in October um, evening time. Uh, usually our short courses are introductory, so it's not for professional, it's for those of you who already know something about fashion and design, but want to get the full Marangoni experience and decide what is the best BA for them. Two weeks, three weeks, or four weeks. Uh, minimal requirement is 16 years, uh, 16 years of age and uh, an intermediate knowledge of English. Uh, without any certificate. The more, the better you speak, the easier is going to be for you to follow, but intermediate is fine. I'm not going to mention now all the programs that we had at Marangoni because we have very many. So if you have a specific question, you can ask them after the presentation. I'm going to name the main uh, directions. So the most important that we have. Fashion design, how to uh, create your collections. And here you can choose women's wear, men's wear, kids wear, sports wear, and so forth. Fashion styling is how to create the mood, how to work with images, video shooting, photo shooting. Uh, fashion business is uh, uh, for, for those of you who uh, want to work uh, in this industry, but uh, promoting and doing the marketing for a fashion collection. Uh, for these uh, three uh, direction, we have uh, short courses, uh, one year, uh, master and the bachelor. If uh, you want to be a designer, then we can offer interior design. That at Marangoni is very linked with fashion and luxury places. Then we have product design that in Marangoni is very linked to furniture design, thanks to the collaboration that we have with Mr. Giulio Cappellini, which is uh, of the family Cappellini, of the famous, uh, worldwide famous Cappellini brand. And visual design is uh, graphic design, but not only. It's graphic design with communication, meaning that uh, you will not have at the end of these programs uh, just uh, good technical graphic design skills, but also communication skills useful to promote your design at the best. And the last uh, direction, like the last area of study that I'm going to mention is art. As I mentioned, is only in Firenze, only in Florence. And here we have uh, contemporary art and also art management both at undergraduate and postgraduate level. Um, what, is, uh, what are the admission requirements uh, to enter our courses? I'm going to mention the three-year program and uh, the master degrees. Uh, first of all, what is the language of teaching at Marangoni? English everywhere. Also in Paris, we don't teach in French, in French uh, but in Italy, so in Milano and Firenze, you can also choose Italian. So Milano and Firenze, Italian or English, all of our campus is English. And what do you need to become a Marangoni student? You need a motivation letter, personal statement, uh, the high school diploma. Uh, for Turkish students, uh, we also need the YKC with a minimum of, of 150 points. And then we have two things. If you want to apply for a creative program, fashion design or interior design, for example, you need to present a creative portfolio, uh, which is uh, made of uh, six uh, creative ideas. The format is absolutely up to you. Sketches, uh, technical sketches, uh, pictures, uh, mood boards, uh, uh, videos, uh, or a collection of them. It's a way in which you should show us your motivation and your creativity. 
If you want to apply for a fashion business program that does not require a portfolio, you will receive uh, a skill test, which is uh, uh, a few questions with multiple choice uh, that you are going to take uh, home. If you don't know how to sketch, uh, and this is something that always happens, uh, for example, you want to enter one of our programs, but then uh, you don't know how to do sketches. So what can I do? You don't have to panic. You come to school and you come to Marangoni to become a professional. So everything that will be needed to become a professional is going to be taught by us. What can you do? For example, if you don't know how to sketch, you can create mood boards such as those that you can see. So you can take elements existing in the fashion industry or design industry or the graphic industry and them together to create your own style. You can use Instagram, Pinterest and all uh, the tools that now internet gives us. And uh, this is for the BA, uh, and this is for the master. So if you already have a university degree, basically you need the same as for the BA, uh, except from the fact that instead of the high school diploma, we require the university degree. And then the portfolio here is not creative, but is professional. So five to 10 of your projects. Uh, that you did during university or during uh, your uh, studies. Uh, every year, uh, twice a year, Instituto Marangoni gives uh, more than 2 million euros in uh, scholarship. So it's a support uh, to uh, students willing to become Instituto Marangoni students. How does that work? As this was a question that Alper asked before, I'm going to mention that already now. Uh, there is a competition uh, that ended, for example, in March, uh, where uh, students uh, can present their portfolio and the best portfolio can get up to 5,000 euro of the tuition fee. But now, exceptionally this year, we have uh, launched just today uh, the Vogue Talents uh, competition that gives prizes up to 50% of the tuition fee. Uh, it's pretty easy to uh, actually uh, participate and uh, I try to actually uh, show it to you if uh, you allow me to do so. You can just uh, um, look, you can just uh, type uh, on uh, the website uh, scholarshipinstitutomarangoni.com uh, and if you can see here you have Vogue Talents, the end date of the competition is the 4th of June. And in order to see uh, what you need, well, first of all, I suggest you to refer to Alper that uh, will guide you through the admission process. But if you want to see what is needed to apply, you can just start your application. And uh, depending on the program, for example, Milano Fashion, uh, Undergraduate and Fashion Design, you continue and here is the list of the material that you need to present. This is not a portfolio based competition because we have a company. So as we have a company that supports us, you need to do a project. So portfolio or a special project. Uh, it's uh, going to be open for, uh, uh, well, for a long, long time, more than one month. So, you know, don't forget about it and uh, try to get one of these uh, uh, prizes. And uh, I'm pretty, done with the competition I just want to, with the competition with the presentation I just wanted to uh, name uh, another tool that we have uh, which can be useful for you if you want to see the project that we do with the industry. House of Marangoni is a platform which does not require a registration you just type house of Marangoni well house of marangoni.com and you can see the best project that our students did with companies in fashion, design, on art. And you can see the name of the student, nationality, name of the project, and also pictures to explain it. Uh, of course, uh, Marangoni uh, works a lot with uh, the companies. Uh, the placement rate is uh, very high, uh, very similar to what NABA has. Uh, and uh, last year, this is a slide that I added like uh, last week. Uh, well, 2020 has been a terrible year and uh, we had this uh, online blended model and no one knew that uh, uh, well, how difficult it's going to be, was going to be to find internship for students. Uh, but I received from Paris uh, this slide uh, with uh, 
the most important internship that our students did last year, so in full pandemic year, with these companies. For example, Louis Vuitton, La Boutin, Bulgari, Lanvin, Saint Laurent, Martisser, Zuaride, and other banks. So this is only for Paris, and this is in 2020, but the level of uh, companies that, that we work with, it's very similar to this, and some of them uh, you can see and have a look in the House of Marangoni website. So this is the end of my presentation. I think that uh, you're probably already tired of my uh, terrible Italian accent. Uh, and uh, I hope that this was interesting for you. Uh, I'm here together with Alper. Uh, if you need any, anything, just type a question on the chat box or unmute yourself. Thank you for your attention. Damiano, thank you very much. Uh, regarding to the competition, uh, is it for uh, fashion uh, design program or for all the design program? The work uh, for fashion and design. Thank you. Um, and we will also have another one, uh, which is going to be launched. Uh, well, uh, it's a matter of days. Uh, it's uh, co-branded, uh, where we will have uh, only on the master degree uh, some companies who will support uh, our students. Um, what uh, I feel for Marangoni is uh, like a company. Uh, when you go inside to the school, uh, seems that students are not only students, they are also uh, working there. This gives a lot of uh, uh, strength for students uh, because they are in a working environment. Uh, maybe they don't need to do any, any extra internship, but... Well, uh, you said a very interesting thing. Uh, actually, what we do at Marangoni, we try to simulate what is going to happen in the real working world. So, for example, in the master uh, programs, uh, we have in each term, and we have three terms, uh, we have one project with one company. And then the students uh, can work either individually or for the second and the third term, they work in small groups. And of course, it's like they are going to uh, you know, be working when they finish the school. Um, and something that uh, I forgot to say uh, is about uh, the uh, internships. Uh, Istituto Marangoni in Milano and in London, in all master programs uh, offer a compulsory three months internship during the path of study. So this is why in Paris and London, the master does not last nine months, but last 15 months. And in Milano, in all of the accredited programs, bachelor, which is fashion design, interior design, graphic design and product design, students can get uh, up to two months internship during the third year of study. Okay, thank you very much, Damiano. And thank you very much, Milan. Uh, it was great uh, to know in details about uh, two excellent design uh, schools in Italy and also in uh, some other uh, countries with uh, Marangoni, Paris and London. Uh, maybe students will have a lot of uh, opportunities to select where to study. Um, well, thank you for the organization. Herkese e, katıldığı için teşekkür ediyorum arkadaşlar. E, umarım faydalı bir e, tanıtım olmuştur. Teşekkür ediyorum herkese.